Hey doll, I am thrilled to bits that you are here today. It's Shandy and I have got a beautiful shawl pattern to show you today. Check out this ivy lattice. This beautiful ivy lattice shawl was designed for you by Megan Blankenship and I could not be more tickled with this beautiful pattern. Imagine you're having tea in a garden on a cool spring or autumn morning. With this shawl, you'll be wrapped in light, ethereal wisps of camel and silk fiber. You breathe in the crisp air and yet you're not cold. This shawl cuts the chill. This stunning wrap will make for the coziest of moments and have you looking gorgeous at the same time. You can wear it around the house, or you can dress it up for a night out, you get to choose. This rectangular shawl pattern starts with some ribbing and then it blooms into beautiful cables. You then work these ivy lattice cables. They're very relaxing yet adventurous until you get the length that you prefer. Then you finish with some more ribbing. This pattern is perfect for the adventurous knitter who has a few projects under their belt and is ready to tackle some new stitches. We opted for our Oasis Camel Silk Fingering Weight Yarn for this pattern in the colorway Rooted. The drape is out of this world. It's got ultra soft camel fibers blended with shimmering silk and it's 500 yards per skein, so it's a very popular base on our site. We used nearly all of three skeins for this pattern. If you're a loose knitter, I would suggest getting four just to be on the safe side. If you would like the pattern, you can download it at expressionfiberarts.com, and I will also put the direct link in the description box for you. Today, I wanted to show you a couple of cable stitches you're gonna find in this pattern. The two over two left pearl background, and the two over two right pearl background. These cable stitches are quite simple to work. Let's go ahead and start with the two over two left pearl background. Okay, to work this cable, you're gonna start by slipping three stitches from your left needle onto your cable needle. And then you're gonna hold those in front. So let them just hang out here. Then you're going to knit two from your left needle. One and two. Then you're going to slip one stitch from your cable needle back onto your left needle. And you're going to purl that one. Then you're going to knit these two stitches. So you can knit them either from your cable needle or you can pop them back onto your left hand needle and knit them from there. That is up to you. So I will just slide them back on. Drop the cable needle and then knit those two stitches. Now let's work the two over two right pearl background. All right, you're gonna start by slipping three stitches onto your cable needle. And this time you're gonna hold them in the back of your work. Let's get them out of the way. Then you're going to knit two stitches. One and two. Then you're going to bring your cable needle back up and you're going to slip one stitch back onto your left hand needle. And you're going to purl that one. And 
Then you can either knit the final two stitches directly from your cable needle, or you can pop them back onto your left hand needle. Drop your cable needle, and then knit them directly from there. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and that you have the most splendid day because after all, you deserve it. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I don't curly mock you, baby. Nice. I don't think that's exactly how it went. <laughs> that's not what I did. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Tell me when. Alright, go ahead. Okay. Until they are very, what? Uh, this stunning wrap will, okay, distraction. Just All right, breathe. Okay. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.